For this activity, we're showing the removal tool within the extrude tool. Okay, so we're going to use the same types of tools that we were using for our first shape, where it's sketch and extrude, um, but we're now going to actually use it to cut and remove pieces away from an object that you make. Okay, so more details on how to use this extrude, which again is one of those base, uh, very important tools that we will use in our on shape and in any of our 3D modeling. Okay, so we would open our Colonial on shape. Okay, make sure you log in with your Google account. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will go to our documents in the top left. And then we will create a new document. Okay. Um, one of the things we'll talk a little bit about in class is making folders for yourself to keep your work organized. Um, but again, right now, we're just starting with the document. Okay, the name, so if you saw in the activity, says we are naming it Extrusion Remove Practice. Okay, and your name. Oops. Okay, that's going to be our title. Make sure you're doing this. This is one of the ways I'm going to be able to actually find your work as I go through it. Okay. And make sure again, this is your name, not the words your name. Okay, we hit OK. As it loads in. All right. We have a couple goals here. All right. The main one is for us to be able to take a look at how to use the extrude tool in ways that aren't just creating the actual 3D element in the beginning. Um, we want to be able to use it to do different things. So our first step, we're going to use our sketch. Actually, I'm going to make my mouse a little easier to see for you guys real quick since I know that can be tricky. Ooh, that's too much. Okay, so we're gonna use the sketch tool here. All right, when we use sketch, when we have to click in on a plane, you have to actually place your sketch somewhere. For this one, we're gonna choose the top. Okay, we're gonna create a rectangle. So remember our rectangle tool is up here. When we choose our rectangle tool, somewhere along our top plane, okay, we will create a large rectangle and we're actually going to give this one measurements we're going to give it dimensions so if you hover your cursor over our box here we see that it is highlighted we can type in the number four okay we can hit enter you see our next one on the side here highlights we can just type the number four and we can hit enter so this gives us a four inch by four inch square okay this is all we're going to do for this first sketch so we're going to choose our green check marks to close out the sketch. Remember, that's closing our 2D version. Now we're back into the three dimensions. All right, we're going to extrude. So with our tool right next to sketch, and we choose our box. And we do want this to be a cube. So in our depth, in our extrusion tool right here, we're going to choose four. We're going to type four inches. Okay, we can hit the enter key, it'll automatically make it. We can choose our green checkbox, and we should have a nice cube. All right, our next step. So there are three different uh, sketches that we are going to use on this box to cut various shapes out of it. So we're going to start with a sketch. Remember, you have to start with a 2D version of what you want before you can make it into three dimensions. So we choose our sketch. We're going to choose the front of our box. Okay, if you're ever confused about which side of, a, of an object we're talking about, remember you can look at this cube on the side. This will tell us which names for each of the sides we're looking at. Okay, so we're looking at the front, okay, which is this one right here. Okay, we're going to choose that one. Okay, we're going to create a polygon this time. 
Okay, so polygon is up in our ribbon right at the top here, right? It looks like a little pentagon here. When we click on that, we can choose a spot for it to start. If you notice, when you hover over the center, it'll start to bring up a nice little dotted line. You can do that if you'd like. If it doesn't show up for you, that's okay, but we're gonna put ours in the center, okay? If you notice moving your cursor in and out, we'll change the size and make ours about that big, so pretty large here. And now, if you notice, depending on where you move your cursor, it changes the number of sides, okay, on our polygon here. Okay, we're going to want a six-sided hexagon right here. So we leave it at six, we click our cursor, and it will create our hexagon. Okay, so now we're going to try and cut it. So we're going to close out our sketch. We're going to use our extrude tool. So we first have to actually choose the sketch we want to cut that we want to remove from our object. When we choose it, you notice it defaults to creating and adding it on. But if we look at our toolbox here for extrude, there's a remove feature. We're going to hit remove. Okay, and you see it only goes in a certain amount. For this one, we're actually going to choose through all. Okay, so what this does once we accept it, we're going to hit our green checkbox. We can right click on our view cube here to rotate. If we hold your cursor, you can rotate. See, we see it cut out all the way through. I'll click on the corner to reset it. Now we're going to do two more cuts, two more removals. So we're going to start a sketch. This time it's going to be on the right hand side. On the right hand side, we're going to add a circle this time, our circle tool. Okay, somewhere in here, we're going to make, let's say, a small circle this time. We're going to accept our sketch. And then we're going to extrude and remove. So we extrude, we have to choose the actual circle. Okay, and then we need to remove. And this time, instead of through all of it, we're actually just going to do to the next item. So it says up to next. If we choose up to next, once we accept our changes, what it does, instead of cutting through the entire object, and instead of cutting a flat distance, it actually just cuts up to whatever the next surface is. Okay, so if you see, there's a nice cut out just through that side, but the rest of it is intact. Right. Then what we'll do, our last step here, our last extrusion removal. We're going to do another sketch, our last sketch on the top. Okay, remember again we're looking at the surface names from here, so this is the top. Okay, we're going to type in our name. So just so you guys know, when you create the rectangle for your text box, okay, the height is how large the text will be and the length is how long that line of text will let you go. Okay, so if you have maybe a longer name, you'd have it smaller. Maybe your name is really short. You might be able to have it larger if you want it. Okay, so we're going to go like this. We'll type in our name. Hit our green checkbox to accept it. Okay, hit our green checkbox to accept it again. Okay, again, when we now want to remove, we're going to extrude. We choose what we want to extrude. Okay, and since it's trying to add it again, we hit remove. But this time we're going to do a blind by the kind right here. And our depth is going to be half an inch, 0 0.5. Okay, we can hit enter to accept it. And then our little green checkbox to accept. So now that we look at it, it doesn't go very far, does it? Okay, it's just cutting just a little bit in, depending on how large your polygon was. Like mine, our first or two of our letters pop through, but the other ones we don't see because it's a fixed depth cut. Okay, we're going to choose our corner again so we see the whole object. And then again, what we'll do for right now when we go to send it, 
is a quick screen cap. And make sure you get all your info in there. I need to be able to see your browser. That's this column on the left. Okay, so I can see the steps you took. Okay. If you have questions, let me know. One cool thing that I'll show you real briefly is if you do want to change the color, there's an appearance panel here. Oop, we wound up with two parts of now. Oh, it cut off a piece. Um, you can right click, you can edit the appearance, and you can choose different colors for what you want to do. Okay. So if you feel like it, if you'd like to change your color, you can change your colors here.